bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. My name's Christine and in today's video, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing our book of the month reading vlog. So I've got three books this month. The first is gonna be Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. This is a tale, a retelling, some could say, of the tale of the Minotaur, the Greek mythology myth. Ariadne was the Minotaur's sister and she falls in love with a Greek hero and chaos ensues. This is supposed to be a retelling of that myth. So we'll see where Miss Jennifer Saint takes it. The next book on this list is We Are the Brennans. Y'all know Monique rated this five stars last month. So I have high, high hopes for this book. She said it's like This Is Us with a lot of drama. I've never really seen that show except for one episode, but I'm assuming it's gonna make me cry or feel something of some sort. It basically follows a young woman who after moving to LA five years later gets in a horrible accident and has to come back home where her family keeps asking her, why did you leave? What's the tea? So that is where our story picks up and it's just about the drama that kind of goes with that. So I'm really, really excited for this book. I think it's gonna be a great pick. So I cannot wait to get into it. And the third and final book for this book of the month reading vlog is The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina. All I know about this is that it's an urban fantasy. It is about a witch who has kind of like a curse set on her. She turns into a tree and her grandchildren have to try and figure out the curse, break the curse by following the clues and solving the mystery. But yeah, it's got witches in it. And that's pretty much all that I can gather from the front flap. I think I'm gonna have a good time with this one though, because I have seen a couple of people already review it. Reviewers that I trust in love and they said it was really really good so I'm thinking this might also be a five star maybe 4.5 I'm not sure just depends on the writing and where it goes I do know that this writer Zoraida Cordova has written this other series it's like Brujas I think it's like Brujas in New York or something I don't know I'll put it up here so you guys can see but I wanted to read this one for a really really long time and I haven't quite gotten to it so I'm excited to kind of see the writing style in this book to see if I actually you know want to pick up these other books okay and so those are the three books for this book of the month reading vlog so let's get started all right everybody so we are officially starting our book of the month reading vlog and uh you know I only have a few days to do this because it's been a busy August. I cannot believe that it is almost September. I'm literally filming my bullet journal plan with me video tomorrow. Um, so anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about book of the month. So the first book that we're going to be reading for the book of the month vlog is Ariadne, which is the story Technically, this is the daughter of the King of Crete. If you guys know anything about the Minotaur, that Greek mythology, like, legend. She falls in love with a Greek hero. You know, there might be some tragedy in there. I think this is literally just going to be about the myth. So I'm going to get some reading done because it's lunchtime. We've got some time on our hands. And I think this is, like, a 300-page book. 303, baby. Who am I, a booktuber? But yeah, so this was a May 2021 uh, book of the month pick. And y'all, I love Greek mythology. So I'm hoping that this is good. What's really gonna make this a um, higher star rating is the writing because I know this myth. So it'll have to be, you know, having something a little extra to it, if that makes sense. So we'll see, we'll see what the writing style is like. Miss Jennifer Saint, we'll see what it is. I'm excited. I really don't know what to expect. I don't have any kind of rating in mind. So I'm just hoping it's more than a three. So that's what we're gonna start this vlog off with and I will check in with you guys at 50%. Okay, y'all, we're at 50% of Ariadne. I'm doing laundry. I feel like I'm always doing laundry when I'm vlogging these vlogs, but you know, that's just the time to read. We're waiting for things to get washed and dried. Anyway, so I am like what is happening in this book okay so i know the story of the minotaur and i think the point of this book is kind of like what happens after you know it wasn't necessarily about the minotaur and like that situation though like you know the a good portion of the beginning 
of this book is about that. This is definitely like a story based, like a plot based book. The writing is is good like it's not boring me to tears and like it makes sense like it, it flows really really nicely but I'm I'm just having a moment where I'm like what is like what's the point what's happening so I think that this yeah based on the inside flap like the cover it said that it was about the Minotaur and like that myth but really I think this is about Ariadne and her sister Phaedra and you know just kind of like them dealing with what happens after the Minotaur situation so it's not necessarily bad it's just not what I was expecting so but like I'm enjoying it you know it's giving me big like Cersei vibes if, if you guys really like the um Cersei by Madeline, Madeline Miller it's not as heavy as that so it's almost like if you liked Greek mythology you liked that writing style but you didn't like as heavy as a lyrical of a book it's like this would be a good book to read also it's giving me those big vibes because as we know some of those myths overlap they have a lot of the same characters so yeah i'm interested to see like we already know with greek mythology there's always going to be a tragedy there's always going to be somebody not happy in the end uh or someone going through something that you're just like yeesh 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 anyway i want to say there's been a lot of foreshadowing about the women and you know like i like i been saying if you guys read Greek mythology you know it doesn't usually work out for the women you know like uh Miss Medusa, Miss Scylla, you know Miss um I could probably think of some other people but I can't off the top of my head right now but anyway these women they have to pay for men's mistakes essentially you know like Poseidon came up into Athena's temple and tried to seduce Medusa seduce Medusa and because of that you know Athena said I'm not gonna punish you Poseidon my uncle I'm going to punish Miss Medusa because she's just too pretty for me you know I gotta give her some snake hair or something so it's like that's usually what happens in Greek mythology the woman is always, you know, paying for the men's mistakes. Even in the Minotaur myth, okay, the King Minos, King Minos's wife is the one who has to pay for his, like, bragging, essentially. Like, his, like, treachery, his betrayal of the gods. So, I'm like, is that what this book is about? Because I'm, I'm seeing those themes. And I'm like, is, is... Ariadne is she you know is she gonna have to pay the ultimate price in the end or does she get a happy ending that's why I'm finishing this book because and I mean like the writing is good so I, I I am enjoying it but I can see if you don't like mythology first of all why are you picking this book up but secondly like I can see how people would be like what's happening what's going on like what myth is this you know what I mean I think I'm literally gonna finish this tonight today because it's like flowing by you know flying by flying by so that's where i'm at i'm enjoying it right now right now i'm gonna say it's like in between a 3.5 and a 4 because i feel like a 4 might be a little high but i also think maybe a 3.5 might be a little low so like oh i don't know we'll see how the end goes you know if it's like up or down but that's where i'm at right now 3.5 to 4 it could go either way okay could go either way so could be a three We'll find out. All right. Okay, y'all. I am breaking the like 50% rule because I just have to talk about this really quick. I'm on page 275. I've got like 15 pages left right now. Okay, I was like talking y'all about how this was like a regular myth. Like we're just going through the myth of what happened and obviously putting on some character development. But like, but like this story just went banana like cuckoo bananas i had to put the the freaking book down and like walk away for a second because i was like what is happening right now it's like all the drama really just came out in these past like 30 pages shocking to me shocking there are there are murders happening people are sleeping with people i'm like i didn't think this was that kind of a book i thought we were just getting like a mediocre tale of a myth mythology story and so yeah that's where i'm at so you're caught up i'm just i'm like what's i'm reeling what's happening right now anyway um i'm gonna finish this book and i'll come check back in a second okay y'all so we finished her <laughs> What a crazy, what a crazy ride. Like I had fun, but was it what I was expecting in a good way? 
I don't even know like I don't even know I need other people who read Greek mythology or like a Greek inspired books I need y'all to weigh in on this book because like what do we think about that ending because it was crazy cuckoo bananas okay I don't even know I don't even know what I was expecting because like obviously Greek mythology is always sad or like tragic is what I would say um and they have you know highs and lows like there's always the good parts and then there's always the bad parts and then there's always some kind of like tragic crazy thing that happens I guess just like the way that this book was going I did not expect that for some reason I just kind of thought I was like where are we going with this story but like for I guess for me, I did enjoy it. And I think it's very reminiscent of Greek mythology. Like it reminds me of Circe in the way that it's written just because it's not super, this was not super like lyrical. It was way easier to understand. And obviously I read it all in a day. So if that doesn't tell you like how quickly you can read it, then there you go. But, but it does have like those classical influences, I would say in the writing. And the main themes in this book is not you know her falling in love with who she falls in love with or like even the myth of the minotaur like those are all side pieces to the main theme of her sisterhood so like i kind of mentioned this like it's about her and her sister phaedra and then at one point it's about her and kind of like her sisterhood with other women a huge theme in this book also was just kind of like how women you know they always get the shit end of the stick you know they're always getting blamed for stuff that they have nothing to do with and that was a huge thing too and yeah I mean, I don't obviously want to spoil it too, too much. Not that there's like any huge spoilers, but I do think that there was like a nice use of like, as I said earlier, the foreshadowing and then, um, you know, that epilogue. I'm like, well, dang, should have seen that coming. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to think about this rating. I'm going to let this one sit and I will come to you guys at the end of the vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm going to rate this yet because I did like it, you know, like I feel like it's like a four star for people who read mythology and it's probably like a 3.5 a three star for people who don't it's like how i recommend cersei it's like if you like greek mythology you'll probably like this but if you don't like why are you even picking it up you know what i mean so anyway it's definitely got like i said the classical influences and that greek mythology storyline tragedy mm. okay y'all so the next book that i think i'm gonna read is monique's like a five star from last month which is we are the brennans i'm not gonna start it tonight i'm gonna start it tomorrow i will update you guys okay all i know about we are the brennans is that the one main character something like happened right so she her family i think lives in boston or new york some northeastern city essentially she doesn't live there the main character but then something tragic happens and she ends up going back to where her family is and her family's trying to figure out like what happened like why did you leave to begin with you know why are you back that kind of thing like what's the tea so that's the next book that i'm gonna read for this blog i'm excited so i'll see you guys when i start that book Oh my god, this book is so good. I have literally hit the halfway point exactly and like the biggest bomb just dropped. I'm like, what? What is going on? Oh my god. Okay, this is so freaking crazy, this book. It's like so simple, but there's like drama that you're invested in and interested in and I'm like oh my god what is going to happen like this is chaos it's chaotic but it's so good guys the writing is so good the freaking plot is so good the characters are so good okay I'm talking about we are the Brennans wow haven't checked in since last night this is a July 2021 pick for book of the month obviously this just came out I believe in August you know Monique gave her five stars I can see why she gave it five stars I'm just like <sighs> what's happening okay we are the brennans so basically it follows a young woman who is from a strict like catholic irish family her father is from ireland moved to america when he was younger so it's about her kind of having this secret that made her move out to california away from all of her family and she's got three brothers she has like a childhood love that she left so something like serious obviously happened to make her leave them so the whole time in the beginning of this book you're trying to figure out what that thing is like what is the thing 
You know what I mean? Like, why did she leave? Did she just hate them? Did she have a fight with somebody? You know, did something happen to her or what? So, <laughs> we just found out what the thing is. And y'all, I'm nervous because I'm like, what is the family gonna do? The drama. I am invested, y'all. I just like binged the like first part of this book, the first half of this book. And I think I'm about to binge the rest because I literally have today off. So I'm like, I'm not gonna get anything done but reading. This book is so good, y'all. Wow. Okay. What else can I say? I cannot believe that it ended like that on the 50%. Like, what? I don't know what the vibe of this book is. Like, I don't know if we're gonna have a good ending or if it's gonna be complete chaos. Wow. Right now we're at a four for sure. We're at a four. The writing is good. The plot is good. The pacing is good. Everything is good. I'm like, I'm thinking five star. I just need to know what the final thing is because if it ends up being a mess, like a really bad mess, I'm going to be stressed out. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm going to continue. Did that even make sense? Does this 50% check-in even make sense? I have no idea. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am stressed out. I've got to go to a different room to read this book. I've got a hundred pages left. What's happening? <laughs> okay, everybody, I've officially finished. We are the Brennans. What a good book. This is such a good book. I feel like no one is talking about this book. Um, or if you have been, I have not heard you. I have not seen you. So let's get together. Let's have some coffee because this is such a good book. Set in like a domestic setting with like mystery, high stakes drama, and definitely characters that you will love, you will fall in love with. Every single chapter is a different character's point of view and it just is just so good. Like this is so good. And I feel like if you liked the movie Silver Linings Playbook, then this is the book for you. I feel like if you like Reese's book club picks, you know, like I said, set in that domestic setting, this is the book for you. It's not a very thick book. It's only like 290 pages, I think something like that. And like, what a good book y'all I was stressed I was like what's gonna happen ah! that's when you know it's a five star when you're literally screaming at everything that's going on I like had to stop I couldn't even continue at some points so I was like I need to stop and chill because I'm about to freak out oh my god okay drama 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 and I would be so happy just so happy if they made a tv show or a movie or a tv show tv show would be cool but anyway Wow, so fun. Ugh, I love rooting for characters like that. Like, ooh, the good ones. You're just like, dang, you really just popped off. You didn't have to be that good. Okay, so we are the Brennans. Five stars, obviously. What a good freaking book. Book of the month. You did something right. I mean, you do things right all the time, but like this was such a good pick on y'all's part. Okay, so we are the Brennans checked off the list the next and last book for this vlog is gonna be i think it's the inheritance of Orchid orchidea divina i think that's the name of it i'm gonna go with that i think that's the full name of the book who's the author oh i'm sorry guys i don't remember off the top of my head i think it's a, i think it's zori something cordova okay anyway i'll have it in the next clip i'll be able to tell you guys all the deets so why don't I get into that and I'll check in with you guys at 50% but I do think that this next one is also going to be good too so we are winning we are winning this round okay we are winning okay guys it's time for a sneak peek of my TBR for September it's time for the last book of the month book this month highly anticipated the inheritance of Orchidea Divina. I'm so excited. I've, I've seen people already read this book 
and they love it. And I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so essentially we have like a, a bruja is dying or she's she has like passed away and her family comes to get their inheritance from her. While that happens, a mystery unfolds because they're trying to figure out why the land is dying, where the magic is going, what happened to their grandma, okay? So I'm at the 50% mark of this book and y'all, this book is so good, <sighs> okay? It just starts off like very, it's very well paced, very well written. All the characters are really fun. I love the two mains that we're with, Ray and Mary. I don't even think they really call her Mary that much, but anyway. And they just have such a good like back and forth. Like it's quick and witty, which I love. It's funny. Also, the freaking storytelling in this book is so rich and like good. You get this folklore from, you know, the matriarch from Miss Orchidea and like her, you get like her background and her storyline and like how she became the person that she was. And then you get like the backgrounds of all of her grandkids. This woman was just iconic. She had freaking five husbands. Like get out of the way, Miss Evelyn Hugo. Anyway, and just like how basically like how it came to be like I'm just like really really enjoying it because everything is so vivid like I can vividly picture everything that's happening it's so good okay and then we've got this mystery aspect on top of it of like what's going on and I don't want to like obviously spoil it and like talk about what even the mystery is but y'all already know from the back cover that there's a mystery right and then the kids have to solve it so in the next 50% I'm pretty sure they're gonna go to Ecuador and like go to like her home like town and figure out like what happened. It's rich with this lore that is like feeding my fantasy heart. Like I am loving it. And it's got magic, but like low key magic, you know what I mean? Like, you know how people sometimes will put magic in a real world setting? And I guess this could be considered maybe like an urban fantasy as well. Be, but they put like magic in the real world, but then they don't really talk about it. You know what I mean? Like it's low key enough that like, it's just like there, but like you don't know about it, if that makes sense. So far, like we know what certain things mean and like certain things do. We know that she was into remedies and medicines. She like built her own house. She was an icon, a legend, and an all around bad A, B. So anyway, I'm having a really good time with this. And then on top of that, y'all, Miss Orchidea, she like goes to a circus. So now there's a circus element and I'm like, oh my God, you guys just really knew what I needed from you to get a five star. Okay. I'm having a good time. Okay. I'm having a good time. I, I expected this to be good, but I didn't expect it to be this entertaining and like suck me in so much. So all that being said, I'm I'm going to I'm hopefully finish this book tomorrow because tomorrow is the 31st. It's like the literal last day of August. Hopefully I will finish that, be able to give you guys a good report. I'm excited though. I'm loving the main character's relationship with her cousin. Like it's just so amazing. And I'm like, what is the tea? Like what is the answer? I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the mystery. I clearly have no clue. Don't even know what it could be. I mean, I, I, mm, let me say I don't even know because I, I do kind of know. I feel like I do know, but only time will tell if I'm right. Who likes to hear that from somebody like, yes, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I read fantasy books. <laughs> anyway, but that's me right now. I'm enjoying the magic. That's where I'm at. Okay. I don't have anything else to say about Orchid Day, okay? Icon legend. She's not living, but she's still really cool. So that's where I'm at. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, y'all. Another day, another dollar. I finished <laughs> Miss Orchidea Divina. Oh my god, okay. I don't even know how to explain how good this book is. All I'm gonna say is if you like fantasy books, you need to read this book. This book is so much more, I think, than the blurb gives it credit for and so much more than I even understood. First of all, they got a circus up in here. <laughs> Secondly, they've got witches, not like straight up like they call themselves Ruhas kind of witches, but like they got magic. Okay. Three, there's some fantasy and sci-fi elements that no one told me about. And I don't want to spoil a damn thing. I don't want to even hint at not a ting to y'all. So really what all can I say other than read it? Like if you're a fantasy reader, you will like this book. The things that happen in this book are not laid out for you. So it's like once you're going along in the plot, 
you don't see it coming, okay? You don't see it coming. You might have a hint. You might be like, mm, I think maybe that could be the thing. But then it ends up being like more than what you think it is. You know what I mean? And it's so good. So we've got like the fantasy set in the real world, but also we've got a mystery element. We've got a thriller element. What else do we have? We got magic. We got rich descriptive settings. We have fun characters that are witty and just like so lovable. And there is also this kind of like, I want to say like comedic tragedy about some things that happen. I don't know. They happen and you're just kind of like, damn. But then it's like kind of like funny. But yeah, this is all about family, the family that we choose, the family that we have, and just kind of like how our destinies are set for us, but we can still change them if we want to. I love this book, y'all. This book was so good. Like what even? <gasps> also lore did i say that has lore in it we not only have this old lore about a river but we also have like this whole other element and i'm just like the brains like i need to look this up because is this a myth or did she really just make this whole thing up because if she made that up i am impressed i'm impressed so anyway i just had a good time like getting to know miramar and ray and like some of the stuff was sad like there was some sad stuff i was like hmm Hmm. But overall, like, this book was so good. And it definitely is a book about generations. Kind of like Malibu Rising in a fact that, like, it goes from the past to the present. It was a lot of fun, y'all. I don't know what else to say other than read this book. Five stars, baby. It was so good. Ugh, I can't. And the pacing was good. Like, everything about it was good. Like, there was not one thing that I was like, hmm, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I had a good time. I love this book so good just the magic too y'all it was just so original and so good like i need to know if this is based off of like a myth or something else because if it's not she truly is a genius like she really did that she just did that oh anyway i'm gonna go with the wrap up for y'all so i'll see y'all probably tomorrow morning i'll probably film it all tomorrow and we'll talk about all the books but i got a good feeling about this okay here we go all right, everybody. So that is the vlog footage for this book of the month reading vlog. Let's go ahead and go through the books. Y'all already know Miss Ariadne was a surprise twist in the end. I was like, what's hot? What in the goodness gracious? Okay, if you guys have read this book, please, I'm not kidding. Can you let me know? I'd love to talk about this book with somebody. Anyone who reads Greek mythology, you will probably like this book. You know, it did have some notes in there that were a little depressing, but it wouldn't be a Greek mythology tale without those notes. Um, I did really like how this book addressed how women are always, you know, taking the L for men and their mistakes. I was like, okay, this is an agenda that I very well understand. And also it didn't seem super pushy, even though that was pretty much a common theme throughout all of the stories in this book. Really enjoyed it, thought it was fun. Like I said in the vlog footage, I think this is a four star for people who read mythology. People who don't, it's probably closer to like a three. You're probably just gonna be like, why do I care, you know? But also if you don't like mythology, then why are you picking up this book? Anyway, so four star for this guy. The next book that I read in this vlog, y'all already know, We Are the Brennans. Oh my God, this book was so freaking good. Obviously it is a five star rating. This book, y'all, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to make y'all read this book because it just is so good like kind of like what I said in the in the vlog footage if you're into like Reese's book club picks and that kind of like domestic setting with like bunch of drama and like good characters good plot good setting good pacing like everything about this book was a five freaking stars and I mean <sighs> I just love this book so much the twists I was like <laughs> what's gonna happen like i really want there to be another book or a tv show or anything like i would read it i would consume it mm. so anyway guys i'm telling you i'm telling you i don't even read these kind of books like this and this was a five star okay i i i seriously i didn't want to say i doubted monique's opinion but i was like monique reads more of this kind of stuff than i do it was so good pick this book up do yourself a favor please 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 you will not regret it okay we are the Brennans honestly I like this so much I, I think I'm gonna get my mom a copy maybe I'll send her this one anyway neither here nor there the last book on this list y'all know 
The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina. Y'all, this book was so freaking good, okay? I expected it to be like a 4, a 4.5, because I really didn't know what it was going to be about. This book is so freaking good. So this is a book that spans over generations. It's got the POV from the grandchildren, but also it goes like back in time to the grandmother and like kind of how she got where she is today and y'all this story is so good like nobody told me that there were gonna be sci-fi elements nobody told me there was gonna be a circus like oh five stars baby five freaking stars what a good urban fantasy like i think this is up there with legendborn and though it's not as like big scale as that as in like the grand scheme of the plot i thought this was such a good book and it really just centers you on family the found family like family that you choose and also it has like those notes of old lore and kind of like the magic that happens in the world and some magic that we kind of possibly have forgotten about like i freaking love this and it honestly reminded me a little bit of y'all know i already talk about this book all the time but City of Brass, the Devabad trilogy, there is a kind of like monster in this book that reminds me of some of the creatures in that book. And so y'all know, <laughs> y'all know I was already attached. But anyway, besides that point, I really loved where the plot went, the plot twists. I was like rooting for the one relationship and then I hated it. I was like, no, no, no. Okay, so I was like back and forth, y'all. This book took me for a turn, another sleeper agent, and I really, really, really loved it. So if you guys are into urban fantasy, or even if you're a fantasy reader in general, you like witches, any of that old lore, creatures, a little bit of sci-fi, this is the book for you. I highly, highly recommend this one. So y'all, I had a pretty good book of the month reading vlog. I think this is my highest rated book of the month month so far i think this is the one that's the highest rated because usually i have at least like a three 3.5 but these are all four and above like can we get a five star all around i don't know i don't know but these ones are pretty good book of the month you did it you did a good job you killed it these two for sure you guys should all read for sure this one if you like mythology anyway okay guys so that's the end of this vlog i hope that this gave you a little bit of insight on some of the book of the month books that are available to you if you like this video give it a like for me comment down below if you actually are planning on reading any of these like, i will make a book club specifically for we are the brennans if that's what i need to do to get y'all to read this book that's what I'm going to do. Hit that subscribe button if you want to support me and Monique on this channel and turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss another video from us. And until our next video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!